circus is all about taking the risk. My name is Tilde Björfors and uh, I'm the founder of Circus Icar and I'm also a director. My background is, is actually from the theatre, uh, uh, but then when I was in the early of my 20s, I went to Paris uh, because my director was collaborating with Théâtre de Soleil Monushkin, Marianne Monushkin, and uh, we were there uh, practicing Peking opera. <laughs> Uh, but at that time, I was staying in the same house as a lot of uh, some circus artists. And uh, they showed me training space and uh, uh, brought me to different kind of contemporary circus shows and uh, uh, open stages. And, and for me, it was like discovering something I have been missing my entire life without knowing it existed. And, uh, so I think from that there on, it started a dream uh, of like bringing it to Sweden. That time in Sweden, we had some circus, uh, traditional circuses, and we have some uh, used circus, but not much at all. And uh, but the contemporary circus or Cirque Nouveau, it was nothing. So it was like started from the scratch. But me and my friends, we were at that time. I, th I mean, so filled with this that it was. Uh, all the shows we sh were seeing was had this message that everything is possible. You can do so much more than you think as a human being. So we were like bringing this <laughs> feeling. And um, we were also dreaming of different things, like because uh, the training space at that time was uh, Fratellini. Uh, and this that you could train as a beginner in the same place as uh, the stars that you saw on stage and then there come a group of children like all these uh, ages and uh, different levels in the same space in Sweden everything is very much like uh, divided into <laughs> ages and uh, and so this was one thing we wanted to open this training place uh, also so circus artists could come and be in Sweden and then we had the dream of, of creating the shows. We had no support for our first creation, but the good thing when we did it was that uh, Circus Oz from Australia, they were coming to perform in the big uh, circus building at, at that time in, in Stockholm, and they saw our show and they told their audience to come to <laughs> our show, so we had like sold out the first <laughs> uh, shows and then uh, and then they also brought some uh, agents from Tollwood Festival and other places to come to see us so our first professional booking was in Tollwood Festival the summer after so really from the start we have had the feeling of of the whole circus world because it's such a or was such a small uh, art form or we were not so many working with it so it was and there was nothing in Sweden, so we needed the support from, from France and other places. And, and, uh, and this we, we really uh, got, and then it has just continued. For the first 10 years, I would say, of Circus Icar, we, we wanted to collaborate with different art forms. We wanted to use the circus and uh, uh, learn as much as possible from how to to work with it, with theatres, with the art, with the dance choreography, with the music, uh, with music videos <laughs> and film. Uh, so it was like in all the collaboration, we were feeling that we learned and achieved a lot. And, and we were also like teaching the different art field in Sweden how they could use this art form and that we are existed. So that was good. But after like 10 years, the thing that had felt so much like something we were uh, learning from <laughs> was starting to be feel like we were just giving uh, uh, and that when we work with another theatre director uh, they are always beginners when it comes to circus even how even if they are very experienced <laughs> and uh, fantastic and have a good career they are still uh, beginners with the circus so it felt like we were not coming anywhere or further with the circus. So then for some years, I really went into to work out like how is the process if you work with contemporary circus? How would we like to, to do our processes? And 
I often get the question like that I have become political in the work we are doing. And actually for me, it's, I'm working with the same topic uh, as when I saw my first contemporary circus <laughs> show in the beginning. And that is that everything is possible that, and that the circus is all about like uh, taking the risks and making a risk become a possibility or a opportunity. And it's constantly working in that. And also that it, it's about transcending boundaries and uh, uh, between art forms, between uh, bodies in Sweden, boundaries and uh, limits and borders is the same word. But actually the same thing, what the circus artists always are working with, constant developing and pushing and transforming risks to possibilities. It has a lot of knowledge in it about how to handle fear. That is also the same knowledge that you get when you are forced to cross, leave your home or cross a border or it's also the risks and you need to focus so much on the possibility to make, like it's the same knowledge that we have in the luggage. And therefore it felt after working with these topics over and over again in different kind of ways, when, when the borders around Europe started to close and it, it become really uh, uh, clear how, how many people who are actually dying around the, the European borders. It's made like a peace project and it's, it's made to open the borders in between the countries in Europe. But in the same times we are closing the borders to the rest of the world. So we needed to use that knowledge in, a, in another perspective, I think. I'm born in the, uh, in the 70s and uh, for me it has been, uh, in Swedish you say a non-question if I could do what I want as a woman. But if I just look at my mother and my mother's mother, it's a big difference. I've never been thinking uh, to do what I want to do if I want to be a circus director, for example. Uh, everyone was telling me that uh, you W women can't work together and you can't be many leaders that are women because you are you you just it just don't work after some years i totally have uh, felt the wall uh, in different ways and i've also been treated very very badly uh, of the of women who felt that they need to be uh, because and it, this is in us because we have we it's so few mem women in the <laughs> leading positions, so it's easy to think that it's either me or that person. So I've been meeting this kind in the circus world, which made me really, really, really sad. Will not blame anyone that they are coming with the structures that we are carrying with us because the structures are so deep inside us. And now I'm, I'm working so much with this, with the structures, because I'm also had like, or we had intuitively with the Circus de Coeur, how we wanted to organize us in a more circular way and not like with one leader. And we took the influences from the circus in how we did. And we had like a three part leadership where we were and a lot of like really quite advanced uh, organization thinking without uh, knowing uh, <laughs> anything about it, but just from the institution. And, uh, and uh, this was how we actually made this big success of, of growing. I'm working a lot with it and also working a lot with the, all the structures that we have inside us, that we are carrying with us, uh, even though I'm a born feminist from a <laughs> feminist mother. It's like always the women who in culture, the women are the ones who are there to work hard and for free and when I work a lot with uh, social work uh, uh, with uh, refugees or things it's it's women 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 I mean we we are there in most of the s traditional circuses maybe not in all of them but in a lot of them who is organizing and taking care of and making uh, it work it's in uh, many circus traditional circus as the, the women who have been doing it so so uh, and that I, I learned quite early and as soon as I met the traditional circus friend, I was al always asking how, how it looked historically in their <laughs> uh, circuses. And it's, it's, uh, it's a really a pattern. I think the circus, the tradition of the circus or our background is so different from the, from the other art forms. Uh, 
I mean, we all started in, in a big mesh, jugglers and singers and writers and <laughs> actors. But, but after, uh, after the kings in, in Europe, the kings started to build up the theater spaces and uh, music spaces and, and the institutions. And after a while, also the state uh, and the government. So then it becomes like, uh, and then the circus people happen to be outside this structure building. Uh, and we have, I mean, that's why we are traveling from city to city. It's because we need to go to where the audience, are, where we find the new audience. And, and, um, and, and these are in our roots. Uh, and it's, it's so strange that it's still there, even if it's so many artists now who have never, have nothing to do with traditional circus. They are going to the well-paid uh, university programs. <laughs> And then when you work with them uh, in cooperation to when you work with an actor and it's, it's like, it's, it's still there that we have this also the, uh, in our background that we are, do, see, we are doing our choreography, we are choosing our music, we are doing our uh, uh, <laughs> everything ourselves. And uh, which, is, which is limiting uh, for me when I, because I like really much to work with these cross uh, boundaries uh, art forms and, uh, <laughs> and uh, but it's also something that I think is beautiful.